Hello and welcome to Cat Resource. Today we are going to start our new series called How to Make, where I teach you how to make ordinary engineering items. Today we are going to make a regular twisted coil. So let's go ahead and start SolidWorks. I have SolidWorks open here already. Click on new part, go to part and press OK. So first of all we need to make a sketch. In order to do that, click on sketch, sketch icon and select the front plane. Press space bar and click normal to to get a normal view of front plane. So first of all we need to make three lines that are 120 degrees each other. Here goes our first line. Here goes the second one. So make sure that these lines are not perpendicular to each other. If you see a constraint sign like this one, move your cursor away and place a line somewhere else. And let's place our last line. Now we want to make all of these lines equal. I will teach you how to apply an equal constraint on all of these lines. So let's go ahead and give a dimension of 15 to our first line. Put down 15 here and press OK. Put down 15 here and let's press OK. Now let's go ahead and select all of these lines. Select the first line and hold on control. Select the second line and then select the third line. Now over here at the left, you will see equal constraint under add relations. We will add an equal relation to these lines. Press equal. And you will now see that all of these lines are 15 millimeter in length. You can check that. 15 press escape now this is 15 as well the next thing we are going to do is make three circles at the midpoint of all of these lines make the circle of 6 diameter each to make the circles of the same diameter we are going to apply the equal relation again select the first circle hold on control select the second circle hold on control and then select the third one You can see now that our circles are of equal diameter and that is 6 mm. You can measure using the smart dimension tool. We will apply an angle of 120 degrees between these lines. You can do that by using the smart dimension tool. Click OK. In the next step, we are going to delete these lines. For that, I will be using the trim tool and the power trim option. Hold down your left mouse button and drag your cursor across the lines to delete them. We also want to delete the lines that are inside these circles. Now 
we only used these lines to orientate our circles at a degree of 120. Now we are going to exit sketch and start a new sketch at the front plane again. The new sketch will provide a path for our sweep tool. Just select a spline, it does not need to be accurate. Exit sketch. Go to features, select swept boss base tool. In order to apply swept boss base tool, we need to select a profile and the path. To select a profile, click inside the middle of the circle. You can see that the path is automatically selected by SOLIDWORKS. Now in options, we will apply for profile orientation a follow path and for profile twist select specify twist value. Under twist control select revolution and give a revolution of 2. You can see that our model is being updated. It now has two revolutions across its length. Let's apply a material to it. For that, click on material, right click, go to edit material. We will apply a alloy steel material to it. Click apply. Let's edit the appearance of our coil now. Go to appearance. Select a color you like. Go to apply back scene now. Select the one that suits you. And there it is. Our twisted coil. It is an excellent example of It is an excellent example of using Swift Boss Base tool to make complex geometries. That's it for now. I'll see you again tomorrow.